Hello, welcome. Let's uh, find a solution to this question under binary operation, identity element and inverse element. So the binary operation star is defined on the set of all real numbers by x star y equals to x plus y minus 5xy where x and y belong to the set of row numbers. So one, we have to find the identity element, the identity element of the E of the row numbers, all the row numbers, under which, under the operation star. Then two, we have to calculate the inverse under the operation of an element with its x belonging to the set of um, the real number. So, stating the element of x for which no inverse exists. Then we have to find the inverse of a half also using the operation. So, let's begin. Don't forget, we have tutorial on this. You can go to the playlist and follow through to see the concept developed into the, the topic identity element and inverse property. So, let's Find out to see we are beginning with x. So first, let e be the identity element. So we are letting e be the identity element. So we can pick x star e will give us x. That is the operation under identity. You can follow through on the playlist. Then we are not going to operate this based on the operator definition. The first element operated on the second element give us the first element here. So this means that, okay, let's pick it from here. So this means that if I have x, the first term plus the second term minus five, the first term times the second term which is what we are saying equals to x, the identity element. So now we are focusing on e, which is the identity element. So we keep the e, send all other terms away. Meaning e minus 5 x e equals to x, which is this, minus that x. So we can have e e. So what do we do? We factorize. So I factorize e out. E Dividing e give us 1 minus 5 x e divided by e will give us only 5 x equals to x minus x will give us 0. Okay, so now what do we do? We are looking for this. So the best way to keep this is to divide by any other excess baggage, multiplying it. So dividing this will be e will be equals to 0 divided by 1 minus. 5x and you can agree with me that if I divide 0 by any number I'll end up getting 0 so this is mean your e is going to be 0 so first question finding the identity element e e is equal to 0 that's the first one then the second part we are to find the inverse finding the inverse so in finding the inverse we know that x Operated on by the inverse must give us the identity element. The concept of this is developed in the in the previous lesson. So this is the inverse. Operator on the number give us the identity element. So we go back again using the operator definition, which says that x is the first one plus the second term, the inverse minus five x times x inverse given as the identity which we found to be zero so that would be zero there what do we do we are looking for this very inverse so all other terms goes away meaning i have the inverse x minus 5x inverse of x equals to zero minus x that would be minus x we are looking for this so let's factorize it out so the inverse become 1, as in dividing this by this, give us 1. Dividing this by this, give you 5x equals to negative x. 
So as usual, we need the inverse. So we divide by the excess baggage. So what do we do? Let's just say. So from here, I am going to have your inverse equals to this as negative x divided by the excess baggage, which is 1 minus 5x. So the inverse of the x that we are looking for is negative x divided by 1 minus 5x. That is our answer. But we are to state where is this? Stating the element of x for which there is no word inverse or for which no inverse exists. Here, this is the inverse. So it means that the values of x that I'll put in place of x that will always give me a number that is real is what is the inverse. But if I put in a number replacing the x and the answer I'll get will not will be an imaginary line or will not belong to the set of real numbers, it means the inverse will not exist at that value of x. So for us to be able to get that, we don't want to see the denominator to be zero. If the denominator is zero, it means it becomes undefined. So we just say, let 1 minus 5x equals 0. So 1 is equal to, what do we have? 5x, meaning this negative 5x goes to the right to become a positive. So we divide by 5, by 5. x will be equal to 1 on 5. It means that the inverse of x will not exist if x is equal to one, uh, one fifth, meaning one minus five times one fifth will become one minus one, which will be zero. So the moment x assume the value one fifth, it means there is no inverse. So the inverse will not exist as x equals to one fifth. I believe you get the concept. All right. So. So no inverse exists when x is one fifth. So the last part of the question says that we should find the inverse of half. It means the inverse. We are picking the first element, replacing the x with half to see what the inverse will be in terms of value, but not in terms of algebraic expression. So here I have my inverse given as negative x on one minus five x. So, where x is equal to half. So, we do substitution from here. So, your inverse will be minus half divided by 1 minus 5 times half. So, we are now going to expand and solve it to get a value at which the inverse will be. So, from here, let's see we have our inverse equals to negative half divided by 1 minus 5 on 2. I mean that multiplication, this is a whole number multiplying only the numerator divided by the denominator, so 5 on 2. Then this is going to be a subtraction. And I explained in some of my videos that if you have 1 and a fraction and you are performing addition or subtraction, you are only looking at for a number that you add to this. In order to get your denominator you know if i add negative 3 to 5 i'll get 2 so it means that i am having negative half in my numerator the down become negative 3 on 2. i know you are lost a bit in this this will also be 2 divided by 2 2 divided by 2 is 1 right so we are making this as a like fraction having the same denominator we subtract only the numerators. So 2 minus 3, uh, 2 minus 5, give us negative 3, divided by the same denominator. So that's how can we get this. So now we have double division, which is minus half, divided by minus 3 on 2. 
we can see that minus half will be multiplication, changing this, we reciprocate this. So minus 2 on 3. This will cancel this. I'll be left with negative 1 times 1, which is also negative. So negative 1 times negative 1, 1. 1 times 3, that will be 3. Therefore, the inverse of half is what? 1 third. I believe this makes sense and you follow through to the beginning. Thanks for watching. Like, share and comment. Bye-bye.